about my skin. Um, not much. The first time I remember seeing someone who looked like me in the media was probably Baljeet on Phineas and Ferb. Um, I think I was like 10, maybe. Not the best representation or not the one that I wanted, um, but that was what I got. <laughs> I think I've just always seen people who look like me represented in the media. Generally white people are the majority of the media, so <laughs> I don't really remember the first time. It's sort of just been my entire life. I think uh, the way Asian people are represented are different depending on where you, where you look. So in North America, Asian people are not really represented as much. In Asia, the way especially Asian women are represented is that they're supposed to look petite and small and delicate and doll-like, like have skin that's like porcelain. And that's not me. As working in the media, like they choose the people who look good. They do not like people choosing people who are overweight or who, or who are not pretty. They keep on promoting that love yourself and plus sizes matter and like, but they're doing the opposite. Uh, my culture. I guess, uh, specifically my father. His perception of beauty is really, really white, pale skin, because in Korean culture, if you're paler, it's a sign that you were indoors mostly, which would translate to you having more of a higher social standing. Uh, you're darker, you're dirtier. So with that in mind, uh, I always grew up knowing that my dad didn't think I was pretty enough as a girl so if I want my dad to like me then I have to be more aware of the skin tone that I have. It's it's contradicting because like people who are normally fair love to tan love they love to go into they love going to the beach they love tanning they love getting spray tans and all that but then people who are already tanned and have that color want to be more fair and they would use bleaching creams and all of these things and it's just it's such a subjective topic because like no one really knows like what is the actual perfect skin type if there is any for something you're working so hard to get rid of, there's someone else out there who's trying so hard to get that skin color that you have. Growing up, I never really thought about like, okay, I'm black and then the people next to me, they're white or they're brown or whatever. It was just like, I'm me. My elementary school was like predominantly like white kids. It was totally normal to me, but then I started realizing differences. Like my skin is different. I have to do my hair differently from everybody else. Like not everyone can relate to the things that I can relate to and that kind of took a toll on me as a kid. Like, I remember at one point I was like, I want to be white. Like, I don't want to be black anymore because, like, everybody else is white and, like, all the cool kids are white and, like, they seem so happy with themselves and why, why am I black? People saw me through these stereotypes, so I would always have to, like, defend myself and be, I would be really happy when people would be like, oh, you're so whitewashed, like, you're such a whitewashed Asian, like, for some reason, like that statement, like made me feel more comfortable. It made me resent my own culture, which I resent that. Um, I started when people would compare me to Baljeet or compare me to awkward Indian people in the media, I would get very defensive. And I think as a result, I kind of um, didn't want to be associated with India at all. I like to wear my culture on my sleeve. Um, it's part of me, it's part of who I am, and I don't like that I have to be ashamed of it. Western culture and European cultures is like, paler skin is like beautiful. So I guess looking at like the guys that I liked in elementary school and they always liked my white friends, but nobody ever liked the black girls or me. I was like, okay, well, maybe I need to be more white or maybe I need to listen to more Hillary stuff. Like, I don't know. Sometimes, um, just say if a guy's like interested in me, I'm afraid that they're only interested in me because like I look exotic or they think that I'm like the stereotype of like a Japanese woman, like submissive and like quiet. Like I always say this, but it's like, I don't want to be like someone who's going to be next to your katana collection. People will sometimes look at me and say like, 
even if I have black hair, they'll be like, oh, you look so exotic. And there's like certain words that you pick up on after a while um, that means like, oh, I've never seen a brown person or like, <laughs> you know? Um, and it's fine, you just roll with it, you educate, you don't get mad, you try not to. Describe your skin in one word, texturally. My skin is kind of rough in I'm some not places, ashamed but to, like, I have um, a bunch of these little bumps on my arms. It's like you're really squishy. I don't even think it's like, why do I care? Like, I'm like, 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 other people. I don't even think about like skin at all. And Darker patches of skin. Well, my skin color is not I think honestly something I that I. Back, I don't know. It was, I just woke up one day and I was like, "Who the fuck cares? I don't care. Like whatever." Emotionally, I mean, my skin, my skin doesn't really I feel wondered. soft. Texturally. Physically. Physically. Texturally. I would say young. I feel very unique, to be honest. I feel. I feel pretty exotic. <laughs> I, I like it. I like the feeling of having something that not everyone has or not everyone can achieve. And what's surprising that everyone can say that same line. Everyone can say that I have something no one else has. There's beauty in my skin. There's beauty in being black. Black is beautiful. <laughs> I really like the fact that I have, I don't have my mother's physique. Like I'm not doll-like. I'm not my mother's color either. I'm not my father's color. I'm my own color. Just like everyone else, I'm very unique with what I have covering me. I don't think it's ever gonna be possible for people to not be insecure at all, but there's definitely a lot of things we do that are really negative towards that, like even the way that media works, but I don't think that could change because the way that media works is geared towards making the most money, not about how it makes people feel. Obviously, if we were able to fix that, that would definitely improve a lot of things, but I don't think we would be able to. It's my, it's my skin. It's not something I can take off. It's something that I live with, that I breathe through. So it's something that all my experiences live and breathe through. Um, yeah.